And hi, everybody. This is Gary Dean and Woody Dorsey with Sentiment Timing. This is our uh, recorded version of our report for Thursday, April 13th, 2023rd. So, how are you doing, Woody? I'm alive. Yeah, awesome, awesome. I know a lot of people are uh, been sending in emails asking how you're doing. You're you're feeling pretty good. Well, I don't know about pretty good, but I'm alive. You know what can awesome. I say? Good, good, good. Well, I know uh, I know a lot of people miss you, and they're glad that you're uh, you're able to do this call today. So we um we we just to do a little recap on what we've been um you know anticipating was. Uh, for strength in March to last into April, and and we're in April right now, and right just from a, a, a technical view, it it does appear that we're we're making a, a topping pattern because it, it what I've noticed at least in in previous tops is that they try to get everybody leaning the wrong way, and and we saw that yesterday with with the big gap higher and then we dropped and then we rallied back up again. And then towards the end of the day dropped again. And now today we're up, you know, uh, we're up 25 points. So nobody really knows what's going on. And, and it's almost like a, a, a Mexican jumping bean, I call it up here. And it, it really just kind of gets everybody leaning the, you know, one way or another. And it, it, I, a lot of times we, you know, we, we see this at, at tops and, I was just kind of would like to get your opinion on what what you think is going on, what you see, and everything to that extent. Well, obviously, the market is still in a congestion, which is the preferred profile, you know, and uh, you know, people talking heads are trying to pick out the big picture: when is the Fed going to pivot? What's going to happen? And there's really nothing going on, so it is frustrating. It's frustrating. To those who really want to know what's going on, nothing is going on. So right, and uh, as I said to you last week, we had gone to this congestion. We had really entered into a kind of a stat, a stasis, or a stasis. Yes, it's the, the Greek word for a static situation where you know it's just more of going nowhere within going nowhere on the weekly chart. Absolutely. However, uh, you know. What is not always is not understood is that there are certain time periods in markets, in all markets. And the idea here was the market was going to recover in October and fight its way higher, which is what it's done. And that now that we're here, we are closing in on some kind of normal top. Okay. However, for those, for some of those who think that the market is going to, things are so bad that we're going to crash and burn. That's not happening. So don't don't play that game either. Nope. I, that's one of the things that we've been saying, where instead of looking at, uh, you know, the big picture, uh, you know, just look at it a, a month or two at a time and, and take the, you know, the trades because they're, you know, what's happening is that, the moves that we're getting are are enormous. So everybody that's waiting for, you know, the new bull market or the new bear market, you know, they've been in the same spot since November. You know, they really could even go further than that and say, you know, they've been here since since last uh, August. <laughs> we've been, you know, they've got, we've gone really absolutely nowhere and we've had these massive moves up and down. So you know that I, I I'm I'm a hundred percent with you on that, and that's uh, you know, one of the things that we've been preaching is, you know, don't worry about the big picture. There, it's it, we don't we don't need to know about that because we're we're getting a hundred to three hundred point moves in the S and P, and as long as you're on the right side of those, you know, wh who cares what what whether we're in a new bull market or bear market? Yeah, unfortunately. No one really knows what the big picture is, so to speak. So there's nothing to do about that. Now, you know, the truth is that we've been up since October. The trending yes. function is higher. And there are trending functions within the market. I mean, I wrote about this, studied it years ago with trend duration yes. analysis. Now, one of the things is that's a pretty strong trend. We've had been in a pretty strong trend. 
And, yes. And uh, we're coming to some kind of a high here nominally. And I expect a, a corrective summer, but I don't think it's a crash and burn. I, I, I agree with you. And we could come down and test this, you know, somewhere. I wouldn't be surprised to see us test the 3750. Yeah. Come down, you know, maybe the, the 200 week moving average. Something to that, because you can see we, we also have really strong support there. Yeah. And, and, you know, so something like this. But if we're if we come down here and we get up to the 4200, again, it's a 500 point move that we're, we're you know, on the right side of the trade for. So and, and, and like you said, it will probably take a while for it to get down here. It's not right. going to. I'll bring a state. I'll bring the, this when I come. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. Okay. Bye. So. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, so that that's what. Yeah. Like going down and testing the two hundred week moving average would make uh, you know perfect sense with it. And and everybody, you know, I I believe is going to get very bullish up up at the between the forty two hundred or maybe even up to the the, the forty three hundred. I I wouldn't be surprised if we even came up there where. You, we start seeing sentiment at extreme levels just to get the carpet pulled out. And then from there, we're, we're trading down here and we see sentiment, you know, 1% bullish sentiment readings and everybody's bearish on the market. So that was actually something I wanted to, uh, I wanted to ask you, how, how did, how has sentiment been coming in? Well, it's been sloppy, as you know, as I've given you last week was the last yep. was 72, 57. Yeah, that, that doesn't really tell you very much. It tells you the state of the investor psyche is such that they they don't have a clue, which is what we've been saying. Right. So it's not particularly instructive. Now, you know, it would be nice if, let's say, in, in a few weeks, there was some kind of really good news and the sentiment were to pop way up and the market were to reverse. Then you could try to put your handles, handle on it and say, okay, that's a high, you know, or conversely, right. if we go down, that's a low. We don't have that kind of sentiment, extreme sentiment. Extreme also always happens with news and with the price action. Now, we've had various kinds of news, the bank failure, this and that, but it's like, you know, it's just like nor sort of normal noise. So right. we don't have an extreme of any kind. So that's why we're still in this in this static period where everyone is, you know, trying to figure it out and there's nothing here to grab onto. Right. Hey, what do you, you know, um real I don't know if you want to go. I know we have a, a bunch of new people um from the the webinar that I did last week. And I know a few people were asking about um like the sentiment and and like how you get how you get your numbers and I I tried to explain a little bit um to them but if maybe if you can give a couple you know just a couple of sentences on it how you well, get your pretty, numbers yeah it, well it's pretty simple read the fucking book <laughs> I mean you know I I laid it out sentiment is a huge issue and you really have to study it you know. You're not going to find in one sentence or paragraph how to do it. I mean, back from uh, the time of Lord Maynard Keynes, they talked about the animal spirits. It's the vibration of what people want to do. And people in the market get very excited or unexcited. So, um, you know, there are various ways to capture it. And there's a whole history in what I wrote in my book about you know, there's Michigan consumer said there's this and there's that. And, you know, all you really, you know, need to know is what's, what's the, you know, what's the sentiment vibe, you know, and right what? here, again, there's nothing going on. People are like confused. So you don't have people either believing in the fed and the market or whatever. So you, you don't have any kind of strong sentiment. Now you need sentiment, as I said, with news that people believe in, and you need strong price action. And then you have the trending function with the sentiment and positioning behind it. We don't have that right now. So it's not a very interesting sentiment picture. But okay. I would I, I advise to people, I, 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 you know, I took a lot of time and I wrote in my book and it's in there. It's behavioral trading, by the way. That's right. That's yeah. your 
Yeah, yeah, they definitely yeah. And the, the, there's a section in there on Senate how to understand it. Okay. So, often, anyway, often. I'm just saying uh, <laughs> I've had this question sort of many times. It's really about the whole history of Senate, and then you know, understanding it in the context of the market, because the whole point is to try to understand what the market is doing. Right. So, you know, so. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So, um, so anyway, so the, like as far as uh, right now, what they get, what I've been explaining and let's just see if it's uh, if we're on the same page on this is, I, like I'm leaving the door open for us to, you know, maybe grind higher for a week or so. Um, we moved. I moved to cash yesterday. I just, I, I'm. It was just getting exhausting with this, you know, with the up and down. And and we we did we were, we're pretty well uh, in the in a good profit with what we from our entry. But um, I, I'm leaving the door open for a test up at the 42, possibly even the 4300. I'm and. I, but I think that the time is running, it's running low on the bulls. But what I was, what would make it like, I believe you just touched on uh, what would make a really a better top would be, you know, we get that spike high. We see sentiment at 98, 99% uh, bullish sentiment. And then from there we reverse just as everybody does it. And are you, are you pretty much on the same page as that? Well, yeah, I'd like to see a tactical extreme that is identifiable, you know, that you can put in hard stops around. Right. Until that, we're 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 in a, we're in this static range trade or congestion, if you will, and it certainly has a look like you can still push higher. I mean, it's pushed higher all the time. Right. You know, that's been that's been kind of the surprise. So uh, yeah, it can it can push higher. So. Yeah, that's it. So, well, yeah. is there anything else you want to add to this? Or uh, I know that you're 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 pressed a little bit on time with uh, you know where where you're at, and I just want I appreciate that you jumping on. And if there's uh you know nothing else that you have uh you know what we'll do is we'll try to do this again next week, and uh, hopefully you're gonna you're gonna get better and back home uh, as soon as possible. Yeah, we'll look for an extreme that we can you know put our hands on. Well, that's what we'll, you know, I'm sure whenever we get that, you're going to send it to me and I'll uh, send it out to everybody else. And um, with that, Woody, uh, get back, get some rest. And I appreciate you jumping on the call. Okay, dudes. Take care. Bye-bye now.